Here is your latest Africa news. U.S. troops completed their withdrawal from Aerial Base 101 in Niamey after Niger's government terminated a cooperation deal in March 2024. Thanks to an efficient communication and cooperation between the two armies, this cooperation was finalized before the planned date with no complications, said Maman Sani Kiau, chief of staff of the Niger Army. He added that the United States would be withdrawing from Aerial Base 202 in Agadez in August, before the deadline for the removal of all military personnel by September 15th. Assisting in the withdrawal was General Kenneth P. Ekman of the U.S. Department of Defense. A total of 766 American soldiers have left Niger, out of an initial total of 950, according to media reports. Last July, a military takeover ousted Nigerian President Mohamed Bazoum and installed General Abdurahamane Chiani, the leader of the Presidential Guard, as head of state. It marked the fifth coup in Niger since gaining independence from France in 1960 and the seventh military takeover in West and Central Africa within three years. Subsequently, Niger saw huge protests against the presence of U.S. troops after the country's military government suspended its military agreement with the U.S. and expelled French forces. The Economic Community of West African States, ECOWAS, also imposed sanctions on military-led Niger, Mali, and Burkina Faso, suspending them from the bloc. Although ECOWAS leaders suggested the countries could return, Chiani, Burkina Faso's Captain Ibrahim Traore and Mali's Colonel Asimi Goit, signed a new confederation agreement during a summit in Niamey on Saturday, which is set to strengthen defense cooperation among the three-member alliance of Sahel states, AES. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to receive updates on our latest videos. And always remember, Africa is watching.